Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I'm down the yard today so I always put the battery on charge from a power bank or power station um, if I don't use the van on a weekend. I find that the battery power um, or the battery drops slightly so I like to give it a boost and make sure to keep the battery as healthy as I can. However, what I'm noticing with the leisure battery, it seems to be dropping charge probably faster than it should. So I've got it on charge again. We're getting ready actually. This is another reason why I'm here, getting ready to go on to a, a big trip um, into Europe again. So I'm gonna see how the battery goes via um, or around Europe. And then when I get back, I'm probably gonna look at um, changing the battery out to lithium. Now, the system I got on the Swift Command, um, you can change the settings to a lithium battery. And I believe as long as the charge rate is around 14 or 14.4 volts, um, from what I've done on my research, I can literally just change the battery from a standard acid battery or AGM uh, and straight over to a lithium without any other um, things happening. However, if I wanted to upgrade the solar and inverter, that, that's all different. But just for a standard battery, so I'm looking at getting more power or lasting longer anyway, um, and changing it over to a lithium. So, but that'll be after our big trip. Today, I'm gonna to show you um, the door that's been, or the new panel that's been put on, just so you can see that all done and finished. Uh, charge the battery a bit and just go over the van and do a bit of maintenance but I'm not going to go into everything uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about Europe and um, what we're going to be doing and other preparations we need to do for that. So this, um, let's go and look at the panel first because I'm going to show you on the settings where you can change it over what battery over to a lithium. So we'll do that first and then uh, I'll show you the bathroom door. Let's have a look at the Swift Command panel and I'll just show you where you go into the settings um, and where you can change it over to what type of battery you want to use. Right, hopefully the glare ain't too bad and you can see that. So on the settings button then, you just press and hold the settings button and it brings up a more in-depth screen. And this is where you can change other things, what type of fridge, if you've got aircon, um, what tanks are fitted, heaters, um, and if you come over, you've got more settings. And at the end, you've got your battery type. So you can just see it there. So if I push onto that, it changes it to lithium, um, lead acid, and AGM. So at the moment, we're sitting on an AGM battery. Um, but from all the research and the company I spoke to that do lithium batteries, um, they've advised that actually, yeah, I can just swap it out. The system itself will um, will be able to cope with that no problem. Um, my trouble would be if I want to up the solar because my receiver, for example, only goes up to 150 watts. So if I have to, if I want to go higher on that, then I would have to start looking at um, swapping some other stuff out, which I may do in the future. I may even get an inverter in the van, but um, I think first priority would be just to change the batteries to make sure we got good batteries. So there's the door and this new panel is all put in. So it all fits lovely, but the good thing about it now, it is rigid, whereas before it was pretty loose. So become this side, this panel here is the panel replaced. And if you remember on a past vlog, you had the big black caps where it was screwed in. So I believe now what they've done is they bond this in along with screws on the other side. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just solid now. So, and even down to the floor. So it's all been fitted in correctly. That's the door done. So another thing I'm gonna to do today as well, we've got little scratches on some of the laminate parts of it. So I bought these laminate pens. It's a bit of a filler and then some pens that cover it up, um, different shades and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that and just to tidy this up, um, check the oil, stuff like that, and just sort of make sure things are, are ready for when we go. We have got a couple more trips planned anyway beforehand um, because it's a good few weeks um, yet but before we go, so um, around the middle of April. 
that's that. I'm going to get on with the little jobs I need to do. And um, let's go into the prep of what we're going to do prepping for Europe. Just gone over the door because it did have some scratches. But as you can see with the laminate pens, they're not the exact colour, but actually to the eye, it's not too bad. And all it was was just some, just some laminate pens off Amazon. Not that expensive to be honest, touch up filling sticks and pens, but I didn't really need the filling sticks, just the pens. Went over them with a couple of colours actually, just to sort of try and match the colour right. But yeah, so all in all looking good. So there we go, that's with the door shut. Let's check it from this side. There we go. Which I could probably do with a bit on here, but yeah, that's looking good, looking nice. Uh, I'm happy with that. Job well done. So I'm getting out of here and I'll be back later. See you in a bit. Hi, yeah, so we're gonna, as Lee mentioned, talk to you about our Europe plans, mm, aren't we? We are, yes, because it's coming up very, very soon. Yeah, so as I've mentioned previously, um, we were supposed to have a honeymoon um, in 2020 originally, which then got cancelled to 21, yeah. and then we managed to have the wedding, but we didn't have the honeymoon. Yeah, the cancelled. flights got cancelled, didn't it? They did. Um, so we would like to head down to Portugal, where we roughly where we were going. Yeah, yeah. Just roughly where we were going, um, and spend um, a week there in the motorhome. In the Algarve. Yes. Exciting. Yeah, so we've sort of got 13 days we've worked out to get down there spend a week there and then 13 days to come back yeah so we've got um rough plans like i'd like to do two stopovers in france whether that's one or two nights each yeah. i don't know on yeah. the way down there isn't on the it? way down yeah so um somewhere around sort of normandy area and then somewhere near where we were last time la yeah. rochelle but not actually there there's some Places it? around it are really yeah. nice. So. so we are open to suggestions around them two areas if you know of any good campsites or anything around that sort of area. Yeah. Um, we are open to suggestions as well. And then we're heading into Spain. Where were we going first in Spain? Is it Spain? Uh, San Sebastian, San I believe Sebastian, it is. It. Yeah. Um, so we're going to head there. That'll be our first stop in Spain. And we're going yeah. to we're gonna take that coastline. Yeah, down to, um, down to Portugal. Down to Portugal, yeah. So yeah, any suggestions for that side of Spain as yeah. well? Yeah, but any suggestions, yeah. any of them areas, <laughs> stick it in the comments and yeah. that help out massively. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I mean, we only go off what's on search for sites and things like that. And then we sort of research the site a bit or the air or whatever, don't we? We yeah. don't really. But if you've got recommendations for somebody, then you know it's a, a good place, don't you? So, exactly, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah. somewhere with um, things to see and not too far of a walk away or because we... Mm. We walk a lot, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah. So we'll be doing similar things last time, parking up, going for a wander. I have to work from home again. Mm -hmm. um, so the mornings I'll be working from home. Hopefully yeah. we'll travel in the mornings if we're going somewhere else Yeah. yeah. Um, while I'm working and then get pitched up and then we'll go for, have some lunch and then go for a wander in the afternoon. Yeah. So. Ah, fly. We've got a fly in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that that's pretty much the the plan. Like we say, it is is loose because obviously things change when you're on the road, and we don't try to keep it too rigid. We know sort of the rough areas we want to go to, but uh, and then make it down to the Algarve and back again. Um, yeah. So everything's in place, isn't it? Yeah, we just I know now that France. I, mean, I don't know how restricted it's going to be in the experience we have. Not France, Spain. Sorry, Spain are. Um, if you get stopped in Spain, you definitely have to have where you're staying now. Um, it's a, They've been really strict on it lately. Um, so we need to make sure we've got all the documentation for the van and everything and, and make sure we've got our ferry paperwork for coming back as well. Not ferry, um, tunnel. Tunnel. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was so, going to say, it's a bit difficult when you don't know actually where you're stopping. I oh, know. Well, some people had all that uh, trouble before, didn't they? Some people with Gibraltar, some have just got through, no problem. But coming back into the Spanish side, um, they are asking a lot of questions. And I've seen something the other day on YouTube about um, like three weeks ago. It's getting quite strict again. They're wanting new accommodation right, type. Okay. So just if you've got if you've got your log. Well, we we take all the documents. That's <laughs> last time, it. you know, so yeah. make sure you've always got your V5 
uh, and it's all original copies as well and with some photographed copies as well so I always photograph copies of the passport we've got the insurance we've got the um, you know, ins health insurance and stuff like that as well. I've got that's um, what I got with Nationwide as well, didn't I? So I yeah. got um, my Nationwide account gives us European uh, breakdown cover mm -hmm. as well, um, which is like high spec. It's with the uh, it's with AA, um, but it's high spec one, and also I get travel insurance. That so that's two things ticked off. Yeah, um, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, um, so yeah, we're ready yeah. to rock and roll. And then we've got, uh, like you said, health the health cards, isn't it? Yeah, we've so we've got the, the health cards. Yeah. Um, and that's so you can get some H NHS cover and stuff like that out there. But we have got uh, an insurance pack, obviously, as well. Um, yeah, so that's it. And we're looking forward to that. Yeah, so our we're... next vlog that you'll see, though, will be our Easter weekend. We're going away at Easter. Mm, Swanage, actually. Yeah, so we've got um, we've paid a over the odds a bit for a campsite because we just wanted with all our experience of the weather being so bad mm. and the fields been so muddy everywhere we've tried to go to keep the costing down it's, it's been grass. muddy yeah and it, they, they want to stick you on grass so <laughs> which, it, which is fair enough when it's not like that it would be lovely places that we've been yeah. to which is we haven't really been able to have a good experience of, of going it's out it's been a hard year this yeah. year it's been very yeah. wet so places in march are usually opening up on grass by now um, yeah, so we've not. got so we paid for a campsite a little bit more um, mm. because it's Easter weekend and of course we did it last minute as well, but we know we've got that now. Yeah, um, it's really difficult to find something actually, wasn't yeah. it, when we were looking? Um, yeah. But if so we've got something. Um, so that'll be our next vlog after this, and then the one after that we'll be heading off. We'll be heading off. So yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, when we do go into Europe. Um, you'll probably find there'll be two vlogs a week again. That'll be Tuesdays and yeah, Thursdays at half yeah. five. Yeah. Um, so not for the next couple of vlogs. And then we're rolling to the tour a week um, because while we're on the travel, you can create quite a lot of content moving. Um, so we want to keep up to date as best we can within real time as best we can with, with you guys. Yep. So on our Facebook um, and Instagram socials, they'll be real time won't they yeah they'll all so, be real time and i'll do my yeah. best to keep the socials up to date <laughs> yeah um so yeah so it'll be tuesdays and thursdays half past five and um, once we start traveling once we um, start traveling yeah and then when we come back we go back to thursdays again mm -hmm. um yeah and we've got um another power bank to review as yes. well so that will be coming out but we'll keep that on a sunday that'll be on a sunday yeah. um and we yeah. have got a giveaway with this review so um, bear that in mind. We like doing giveaways. We'll try our best to do giveaways. And <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, it's a nice little thing to give away. But you'll see all that on the review. Yes, yeah, so that one's coming up on a Sunday. So, I mean, that's it really. We've had the warranty work done. Yeah. Um, is that everything done now with the warranty work? I know you've showed some No, stuff we've got there. the habitation door, but that'll be a while on order. And that's because the mm. perspex at the front, the 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 bit there, it's, it's sort of coming loose a bit, but they replaced the whole door apparently. So, um, yeah. That's mad, isn't it? That. Just for that gap, they have to do the whole door. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not complaining. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah, so, well, so just about done with that, just the door eventually. Um, so Swift have been really good and, and managed to get us the parts pretty quick in the end, didn't mm -hmm. they? Um, so we're happy with that. Um, yeah. And the guys at Abacus are great because they've been helping us out getting all the um, warranty work done. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it then. So we are ready to go. Thank you to everyone that's been tuning into the channel and supporting us as always. And we will see you on the next one. So till then, bye. Exciting times. See ya.